after my journey, I realized that there's other, there has to be other people. If there's a, a one in three women and one in six boys that are sexually assaulted by the time they're 18, there's more than just me out there. So we need to talk about it. And it's the equivalent of India, like a billion people. And we don't talk about it. We'll talk about cancer. There's ribbons for everything else, but there's not a ribbon for childhood sexual abuse. There's not a ribbon for rape trauma because nobody wants to talk about it. It's dirty. But we have to start talking about that because even as, an, as employers, there's things, there's triggers. There's, there's, there's triggers out there that can cause things. There's conversations, there's that uncomfortableness. There's somebody that just pats you on the back. For somebody that's gone through some, those kind of traumas, it's a trigger. And when they start calling out sick, it's not because they're calling out sick because they're sneezing, they're calling out sick because it may be a trigger. So just be mindful of those things. So for me, I was just like, I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna try to do something. And onto the CEO side of things is like, I had friends that had made movies, and I'm like, and all making movies is show business. It's a business. It's a business of writing checks. You make a movie, you write a lot of checks. You could hire people for almost anything, and you just write checks. So the person that showed me and the behaviors that I had from my issues as a child, I quit everything. I would start something, and if I were to just reach that point where, where people were noticing me, I would quit from everything from high school to the military I got out early, businesses, I would sell them off because I didn't, I didn't want to be noticed too much because that would put me in a vulnerable position. But then I decided to make Untold and I met Patty Jenkins. Um, she directed Monster. Anyone see Monster? Liz Charles Throne, she got an Oscar. Anybody see Wonder Woman? Yeah. <laughs> she directed Wonder Woman, that's my mentor. And I went, I stalked her, I actually stalked her. I flew out to Hollywood and I had, I, had worked, I had worked on a film production and she was accepting an award for director of the year. And I flew out there and I said, you know what? If I'm gonna have anybody tell my story, she could tell my story. And I was like, so I flew out there and I handed her this postcard of this little kid and it said missing and I told her the story and she's like, that's a great story, do you have the rights? I said, yeah, it's mine. And, she, and I walked away. I said, here's my card, and I walked away. Because the one thing that people don't want is to be nagged. And everybody was asking her for something that night. Because she, she, she received the Director of the Year Award for the DGA, which is amazing. And I walked away, and she tracked me down. Sometimes you just have to touch people enough. Don't nag. And she tracked me down, and I sat with her and her mother for three hours, and we talked about Untold and how she made Monster. And at the end of that, I was just like, can you direct my film? That's when you go for the ask. <laughs> and she said, absolutely fucking not. And I was so offended. I'm like, we're friends, we're buddies. I'm drinking with your mother. Like, why are you not going to direct my film? You say the story is wonderful. She said, we don't have enough women directors in Hollywood. You're going to direct this film. And I'm going to show you how. And she mentored the entire project from script to screen. She just directed Wonder Woman. Like, my God. I'm like, you're, you're working with me? And she was like, you can do it. You're an eight-year-old that jumped out of a moving car. You can do anything. So sometimes having those mentors is, is, is what you need. And it's that kick, kick in the ass. And she was a terrible mentor. Absolutely terrible, because she said, as soon as you raised any money at all, start. And I'm like, that's just a really bad idea. She goes, you will finish if you start. If you never start, you'll never finish. You'll be one more person in Hollywood with a, with a script and talking about a story. You have a story to tell, so start. Mm -hmm.